All right, hey guys, everything new on the sun. This is my tale of losing all my cryptos from my, what's it, I think they call it a hot wallet. This is from Jax. Now I had an old version of Jax 1.2. I had my cryptos in here. You can hear my current, you can see my current Litecoin address. I don't think that's dangerous. There's nothing in there anyways. But what had happened was I went to send and it wouldn't send. Now, um, I figured, well, maybe it won't send. Hope you can hear me. Maybe it won't send because I don't have the latest version. So I wasn't completely stupid. I went and backed up the uh, jax.app file in the applications folder. Let me just uh, pull that up. And I, I will get to the complete fix. Just skip ahead if you don't want to hear the backstory. I tell the backstory um, so that you understand what it is I went through so you know what I'm talking about. So here's a Jackson app. So I made a copy of that. I right clicked, duplicate it, made a copy. I figured out, you know, all the data's in there were uh, good to go. So then I uh, downloaded the update and uh, install it. And um, and then I lost up my all my money. Yeah, before in 1.2, I saw my, my uh, couple of coins worth of Litecoin. I only had a couple of coins in there. Uh, but then I installed the new version, and uh, lo and behold, it does not restore your previous wallet. You actually have to go and uh, grab your previous wallet and restore it again. <clears throat> I had no idea that was the case, but apparently that's normal uh, with Jax, and that's a little crazy. Um, but the problem is I didn't have my 12-word you know, password. I didn't have my <clears throat> private key. I didn't back up any of it because this was software I had on my desktop. And so I never really thought about doing that. Yes, it was uh, stupid. You need multiple ways to back it up, especially that 12-word uh, password thing, which which I will not show you. Um, let me see if I can show you where exactly it is. Uh, so you can display your private keys here, but that didn't show my previous wallet that it, it had overwritten. Um, you can pair devices, which I believe allows you to restore a wallet. and um, Or you can... Uh, you can show the uh, the extra code. If you go to backup wallet, you can show the uh, the twelve word code that you have. <clears throat> What's it called? The new 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 something. Anyways, I didn't have any of that, um, so I was I was hosed, and I couldn't get back to seeing my er, my coins. What I did was I went into Time Machine, and I restored the uh, Jax.app. I went in here, and uh, <clears throat> get rid of that. I went in here and I went to Time Machine, and I don't know if this is going to work. Oh, oops, I'm clicking on the wrong thing. Uh, I went up to Time Machine here and I went Enter Time Machine, and hopefully this will keep recording. Uh, but I went to Time Machine here and I restored this. I restored the Jax.app from a previous day. <clears throat> and let me cancel that. And I don't know if you saw a black screen there or, or what, but anyways, I went to Time Machine and restored it and loaded it up. It didn't work. I rebooted, didn't work. So the trick is you've got to restore jax.app, but you also need to restore um, the applications uh, folder. Let me see if I can find this for you. Now, this is real time. I should have pulled this up uh, before. But library, <coughs> I think it's in application support. And then go down to jax. Now, this folder, you also need to use time mean time machine to completely restore this folder so if I go to time machine whoops goodness I'm not even showing it to you um, there you go there is um, the folders so you basically go to um, you go to your account and then you go to uh, library which is hidden and so to show hidden folders you can google that how to show hidden folders and then you go down to applications uh, let's see application support you drop that down and you go to Jack's folder and this is now the actual uh, folder that you need to restore so you go into time machine enter time machine and it will show you again this is showing on the wrong screen so you, pr you probably see a black screen or something right now but it uh, it pulls up your your folders from previous days and it, it uh, let me get this back on the this screen that you can see there. Um, so you got to restore the Jax.app file and the application support Jax folder. This Jax folder is what holds the actual data to your wallet, and this is what restored it. So restore, go back to the original version that you had, 1.2 or whatever, 
and then also restore this folder from application support. This restores your coins. Then go in and back up your wallet and get your mnemonic. Uh, I think it's called mnemonic. Your 12 word key. Also take screenshots of the interface so that you have your QR code so that you can restore it and you have your address so that you can uh, have that information and go go through the whole backup wallet procedure then go download the jacks.app the latest version and you can work I think it still works I, I think I had a wrong address at the time I was trying to send that's why I wasn't sending regardless that is uh, what you can do to restore it those two pieces restore the application support and the app itself from time machine and that gets all your coins back and then you do all your proper backups of your private keys your public keys your 12 uh, word uh, mnemonic phrase whatever it is take screenshots and then you can upgrade and then after you upgrade to 1.3 I think it is of Jax then you go have to go into tools uh, just like I was showing because it'll it'll load the, the upgrade with zero coins in your wallet they won't return the same wallet then you gotta go to restore uh, let me see you gotta go to tools pair devices restore wallet and then here it will give you the option to enter that 12 phrase 12 word uh, mnemonic go understand there and uh, here you at you enter in the backup phrase and that restored it for me hundred percent so it's a little sketchy that whole restore process uh, the, the upgrade process is sketchy in and of itself that you lose your coins and that it doesn't automatically restore the folder that you had so pretty sketchy but that's how you fix it with time machine the same would be on any Windows machine you have to restore all those files but I don't know the exact file locations there I was just showing you the time machine uh, method and so it's fairly straightforward with time machine once you know how to do it um, but uh, I almost lost well I had uh, 2.3 coins I think which was with $300 at the time it was just this past day where the it, the uh, Litecoin spiked at $100 a coin and uh, I could have lost 300 bucks now that uh, a lot pe a lot of people have a lot more coins in their in their cryptos than I do so I could have uh, I could have potentially lost a lot more thankfully it was not too much but I was able to restore it. So don't panic. Um, hopefully you have your backups running. If you don't, well, I think you're probably, I think there's other ways to hack maybe some of the data files to get your private key because it's apparently uh, not properly encrypted. Um, but this is definitely the easiest way to restore it um, if you run into the same issue I did. So like I said, I was able to restore it 100%. And then I, and then I made sure to get all my backups, all my 12-word mnemonics, all that stuff. So I'll leave there, guys. I hope that helps um, the next person using Jax. Uh, Jax apparently isn't a very secure wallet. So make sure you have your firewall on. Make sure you, you back it up and be very careful with it. Um, and I think go to their site and follow their security um, precautions and, and, and rules, etc. for that. But I'll leave there, guys. Hope that helps someone. And we'll see you guys in the next video.